so um, here we have our mannequin, Rebecca. Um, as you can see, she's uh, highly coloured and uh, she's wearing quite a classic shape today. So this is uh, this sort of fits in line with the with the client that I'm talking about. So what we've got is we've got a graduated concave bob. Um, it's down to uh, a solid finish and through the front, and that's quite key to the um, the technique that I'm using today. So um, we've got a strong centre part, and what what we're going to do today is we're actually going to uh, to section this back uh, from centre of the eye on both sides. So about a about a two centimetre deep section from the centre. So if we just find the centre of the eye, and we're straight back from there, and that's going to give us our new part line. So we're actually going to have three part lines in this. So the centre part is when we want to wear things in a more sort of subtle and covered up way. And then uh, when we're using this uh, right eye, uh, right hand centre eye part, um, we're going to have quite a bold colour showing through this side. So um, a key point to remember here is that, uh, is that when, we're, when we're parting from this line here, is that when the hair falls, it doesn't come all the way to the bottom. Now that's going to be key in, uh, in how we apply our colour today. So we're just going to section that off. Okay, so this section, we're now going to section up about a centimetre deep. Okay. So we have a nice uh, centre se section there, uh, sorry, off centre section, and it's about one centimetre deep. Now with this section, we're now going to split this into two separate sections, quite fine. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a bale effect from, uh, from either side. So. Um, this is really good, as I said, it's like really versatile and um, very, very time friendly. So we're working this side and then we're going to work the opposing side. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort out some colours now. So um, we've got that section out and uh, we're going to start by colouring this section here. Okay, and that finishes right down the bottom. So uh, key to remembering this is that we're going to be placing our colour from the root right through and then when we get through to here, we're actually going to apply some of the zone one colour back to the ends. And what that's going to do is that when this is parted over here and, and falls on this side, our colour's going to finish at um, equal, equal, part, uh, equal points on both sides, just giving the, uh, the colour balance. Alright, so uh, I'll go away and mix up some colour and we'll get into it. Okay, so we've, uh, we've mixed up some colour here and um, what we've got is we've got a Zone 1 colour which is also a global and that's uh, Chromatics 3BB mixed with uh, 10 bomb. Um, then we've got, actually got, we've got three other colours and uh, we've got equal parts 4RR and 6RR in chromatics and uh, what we're going to use that for is we're actually going to run that down a centre uh, around the front hairline piece just here on both sides and what that's going to do is it's going to bring balance to both sides of the colour when we complete it. Um, I've then got High Fusion uh, O and High Fusion R and um, we wanted to create high impact colour so uh, we're really going for it with the brightness. Okay, so this side's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, more impact definitely on this side. And when we go through to do uh, this side of the head, the left hand side, uh, we're going to tone it back and just bring it back a little bit. So that's going to give us three options on, uh, on what we show and how we wear our hair. Uh, why high impact colour? Well, um, as you probably know, like most of our business comes through uh, client referrals. And, um, you know, if we're making a statement with our colour or we have the opportunity to do that, what that does is it actually transfers into more referrals to, uh, to your client base. So um, we really want to create stuff that uh, people take notice of. So the question gets asked, where do you get your hair done? And so uh, that's why we're doing this today. So uh, we all like more clients and we all like to be busy. And what does that equal at the end of the day? It equals more money for us. So um, better life, better earnings, better living. All right, so um, we're going to get into things. And so what we've done, again, if we're sectioned We've made a section down here and then we've split that into two parts, okay? So we're going to start with this section here. Now just remembering what I said before, uh, when we apply this colour, our zone 1 is going to go in here and then we're going to do our impact colour through this through this next section and then the very ends, we're actually going to go back to our zone 1 colour. Um, and again, just to confirm that that actually uh, brings balance from left to right in this here do. So, here we go. So I've got nice long coils. Um, beauty of this is really, you know, we've, 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 we're just working in four sections, but um, it's really up to, you know, yourself and your client on uh, how creative you go with the colour. There's, uh, there's no limitation about what you can actually do in these sections. So, um, right, we'll get into it. So, our zone one colour, 3BB and 10 bomb. Just going to apply that to the root area into this section. Okay, now with a, with a vertical 
across brush, I'm just going to sweep that in a little bit. Okay, so there's no sort of line to this colour. Um, today we're going to use a little bit of blurring as well. So um, you know, I love that technique and and the seamlessness that that, that that gives. Okay, so through this front section we have 4RR and 6RR, and we're just going to run that down this front section. Okay, so with our blue brush, we're just going to come through and just sweep zone one into these other parts of the colour, into the high fusion, and create a seamless transition of colour. And then for this front section, we're just going to blur that back. And then with these two, too, we're just going to transition these two colours here. Right down the bottom in zone three, I'm just going to work this colour through. Okay, so that's our first section done. And we're going to move on to our next section. Now we can lay this straight on top of this four that we've just put in here rather than grabbing another one, again sort of cuts down a bit of time but uh, this is nice and tidy so we're going to come in with our zone 1 colour this time Okay, so we're just painting down through this section again. Okay, we can take this colour through a little bit further this time before we work our high fusion O. And just work our high fusion O through zone 3. We'll make sure that this is really saturated in through the bottom. in with our 4 double R and 6 double R and we'll just paint in through this front, front section. Should have done that first. But it's all part of the creative process and we just love being creative.
task, we're done. We're uh, one side completed. So um, as you can see, really, really quick, simple, a little bit creative. Um, as I said, no sort of limitations on uh, on this technique. It's it's really great that we're going to create something really, really visual, and and yet it can be achieved really, really quickly. So um, the visual element of it, obviously, it's as much as you want it or as much as your client wants it. You know, today we are being quite visual because I really want you guys to actually see what we're doing. So. Um, that's that section completed. Um, now we're going to move into the left hand side. So again, centre of the eye. We're going to section straight back from centre of the eye back. We're going to make about a one, one and a half centimetre section and then split that in two. So uh, I'll go and grab my tail pin and we'll get into that. Okay, so we've created our, uh, our part line back from the uh, middle of the eye. Just a little, sort of in a little bit further. So Maybe more towards the corner of the eye. Um, again, we're going to take about a one meter, centimeter section there. Just straight back. Okay, now on this side, we're going to be a little bit more subtle with our color. So um, it, it just gives, uh, obviously, the, the client options on. Uh, on what she feels like wearing, you know, depending on the mood of the day, I, you know, I just sort of think this is such a, a cool little funky thing because, you know, we can really sort of change up, um, you know, depending on what we're wearing and, you know, whether we're going to an event or, you know, just going out for a, for a drink with friends. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so uh, I've, I've halved that section. We're going to pick up the other half of it. Okay, and now on this side, um, we're actually going to weave this in again just to give it more of a subtle result. And, uh, going to come in with the same zone one colour. So zone one, colour five. medium weave through there. Play in our zone one. We can take this through just a little bit further. Alright, now our zone two colour. It's just going to be our four double R and six double R and chrome out. We're going to paint that right up to that zone one colour. We can cross brush just to blend it a little bit. We'll come back in with a blur brush just afterwards. So again we're going to take that down. Two inches from the bottom. We're going to come back with our zone one colour and just paint out that uh, zone zone three there. So just get the colour on there. Okay, and blue brush time.
So I hope we're all sort of following this. We're going to take this right through to the end on this section. Um, technique's great, you know, when we're in the salon, um, and sitting down in uh, consultation, and uh, we're talking to our clients, and, you know, sometimes they, they don't really sort of have a clear picture of where they want to go, or or what it is they're trying to achieve, you know, you'll be flooded with ideas around, um, you know, or feedback from your clients saying, you know, I've got this job, and I, I can't have it too off, full on, or, you know, I can't be over the top with my colour. Um, it might be somebody that's at school and, and, uh, and she's not allowed to have her hair highly coloured and yet in the weekend she wants to go out and party with her girlfriends and have, make a bit of a statement. So, you know, this sort of works with all of those sorts of people. So, you know, it's a, it, it, it fits a large part of our client base. And again, it's sort of taking like a basic, basic colour and just sort of taking it to a different level and getting people talking about what you're doing, you know. So, um, this has sort of worked really, really well for me. I, as I said earlier, like every opportunity I get to, to actually be a little bit creative and, and um, you know, show people what my aesthetic is and, and, uh, and what I'm about when it comes to colour, I jump on those those opportunities and and it just makes uh, your working day so much more fun and, you know, time goes faster and we have a lot of fun creating and it makes talk in the salon and, you know, the, the rest of the team sort of will come in and, and have a look at what you're doing and, um, you know, it's always great to get feedback you know, when you're creating from, from your team members, when they sort of like, wow, how did you do that? So um, that's sort of what we love doing and, and, uh, and making a statement and being artistic and, and using those opportunities. So um, that's us. We, we're done. We've done. We've done four sections um, split into two parts, uh, left and right, right side. Um, we're going to leave that to process the next fact, We're going to pop a global on, which is the same as our zone one and zone three colour on that first section. Um, which is 3VV and 10 volt and chromatics. Okay, so we're going to create a nice rich brown violet, um, which is really going to show off um, these more uh, this this bolder colour. Um, as I said before, the, you know this this dolly, she's um, she's highly coloured. Um, would this work on anybody else? Absolutely. Um, I thought it was really good to show today that uh, that we can use this technique on existing colours, and it might be that the fade that's been left from a colour that's come back in is something that inspires you. That quite often happens with me. So. Um, you know, you could weave this out just with conditioner on a faded colour if you really wanted a subtle transition, freshen up the rest of the colour and, you know, you have these lovely sort of faded tones um, that, that come through these lovely undertones. So, you know, that's another option as well. So, again, it's it's up to the uh, operator um, to really take this and run with it and, and you know, do, do what suits you and your client, or well, your firstly client, and then you. So, um, great little technique. Right, I'm going to go and mix up my global um, because I don't have enough left here and uh, we'll get back into it after that but basically that's that's the whole technique summed up done and dusted okay so there we have it um, we've gone back in and applied our zone one color as a global so that's 3VV and 10 volt straight through now we're going to leave uh, Rebecca to process for the next 35 minutes I'm going to grab a coffee and um, we'll see you again shortly after we've rinsed it off cool thanks Okay, so um, we're back uh, back here with the lovely Rebecca, and uh, we've rinsed off her global colour and um, rinsed out her foils, um, given her a shampoo, a bit of a treatment. Um, we just stole her up with a bit of an argon, a bit of argon. So as you can see, we've sort of gone back to the centre part, and what, what they've sort of given us is just this nice 3BV uh, global colour. Okay, so nice and subtle, and, um, and just a nice, really rich, rich, nice, healthy looking colour. Okay, so the trick is, is when we come in and we change the parts up. So uh, what we're going to do is find that, that part that we did before and we're going to section that off and move it over to reveal this really, really bright colour line underneath. Now if I just turn Rebecca here sideways we can actually see what we've done in this section here. And we've brought the colour down and then we've sort of blended it out and transitioned it back into that uh, zone one colour. And uh, that's so we get a nice even colour from left to right. So if we just turn it this way, we can see that we've got the same result. 
this over and we take this uh, left hand side part, what we'll see is we'll see a similar effect but uh, it's a lot more subtle. So we go sort of back over this way. You see what we have this way is that we've just got a nice rich red going through that interior zone. And, um, sort of see that sort of showing off that hue here. I'll push the genus light on, you can see that she drops out to that deeper colour right at the end. And this is a lot softer because we put a wave in through there. So um, to give it more of a more of a foil or more of a highlighted effect. So um, as you can see that sort of running down through there. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Pretty happy with the result. So um, what have we learned today? Well we've learned that uh, impact colour doesn't need to be tricky. Um, it can be really simple, it can be quick, it can be fun, um, and that it suits a lot of people. So um, this, as I said, was more of a Jekyll and Hyde sort of a technique, and, um, and I really, really love it. So um, it gives us the ability to be creative without sort of blowing the socks off our clients and freaking them out with too much colour, okay? So you can turn it off and turn it back on as much as you want. So I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed showing you, I enjoyed doing the colour. So um, until next time, um, let's learn, learn and live better. Cool, cheers.